Adnan Moshed is an architectural historian and helps me understand the importance of Khan's visits to Rome. Khan was the deeply committed architect who wanted to create architecture buildings that would be timeless. In the same way, the Pantheon would appeal to people of all cultures. There is a sense of universal beauty. When you look at the oculus, the light beam filtering in from heavens, it overwhelms everybody who enters that building. I think that left an indelible impression on his aesthetic consciousness, that beauty uh, was not necessarily has a very specific locale. It can have some kinds of universal resonance. I think his challenge was to combine these two, East and West. Khan had a very revered stature among the architectural community in Bangladesh. These massive cutouts are actually windows at an urban scale. They are not meant to be a little window for a house. They are windows for the city. They are semantic tools to communicate with the city. I think if you look at all these projects collectively, there is an overarching theme. That overarching theme is light. How do you create a luminous environment inside a building? If you go inside the parliament building, you walk around the ambulatory, you will see that natural light, it creates an ambience. I think it was this sense of timelessness and a kind of a mystical element that would appeal to people of all cultures. I think Kant's work combines a kind of a peculiar phenomenology of the site. If you go to Parliament, you will also feel that mystical power, but you will also have an element, in some ways Bengali, it's a kind of a microcosm of the Bengal Delta. A place has a spirit.